We all know how important website speed is. And in this video, I'm going to show you one simple tweak that you can make to your website to make it instantly more than twice as fast as it is now. Hey guys, I'm John from IncomeMesh.com. Go ahead and subscribe and like this video to get more content from me. In today's video, we're going to look at a specifically Bluehost powered website and what their page speed is normally. And then using their staging environment, I made a clone of that website and only made one tweak and that tweak was installing the WP rocket plugin and I left it on the default settings and I'll show you the comparison of the page speed before and after let's go ahead and dive in okay so before we actually go and make the changes let me show you the actual result of um, the page speed loading the website itself convert dash.com we're kind of sitting here and let me do this again let me convert dash.com you can see how fast it is to load you know, it's no, it's not too slow. It's, it works pretty well on its own. But then let's take the staging environment, open a new window, and this is the one that has WP Rocket installed. And we'll load this guy as well. It loads pretty much instantly. So um, that is how it looks in before and after. Let me show you the one tweak that I put in on this in the back end of the website. So here I have my staging environment where I'm working on a little project for myself, and I did install one plugin at WP Rocket. And this is a premium plugin, but it is by far the, in my opinion, the best plugin for website performance. It gives you the ability to set up caching and all sorts of things that look super technical. Honestly, setting it up with the, um, with the default settings is just fine. And here's what happens in the results. So here I have a GT metric screen showing the comparison of the staging environment with the regular environment. So let's go ahead and just look at these numbers here real quick to show you exactly what's going on. So I don't care too much about the scores. Ultimately, I want to know the loading time. You know, scores are, are nice and everything. We all like to have good scores. So we can just see here that in general, um, we are doing better on the page speed and the Y slow score. But the important one here for me is the pay, fully loaded page time. So on the regular page, the one that is currently live is 5.2 seconds. That is not good. And we'll look at the waterfall chart on this one to show you exactly where that speed is coming from. But then we look here to the fully loaded time on my staging environment. It's at 2.1 seconds. That's very good. I mean, that, that's going to pass anything. And let me also explain this. These are not just very basic websites. You know, these are websites that have, um, you know, WooCommerce installed, which is a huge, you know, it, it hurts performance. It does, but it's fantastic anyways. Um, we have WooCommerce installed. We have LearnDash installed for launching courses. We've got a lot of things going on here. Uh, so these are not very basic websites. So uh, fully loaded time, 2.1 versus 5.2, three seconds faster. Page speed, very similar, you know, a little bit shaved off here, not a big deal. And then total number of requests, we knocked off five requests uh, from that one. From installing a plugin, we actually removed a request, which is pretty interesting. So now let's take a look at the waterfall chart. This is where you can see line by line what's going on and where the, the savings really came from on a request by request basis. So the first one you see here, and this is one that I was honestly shocked at. Uh, so we look here at the convert dash. The first request is just getting to the server. It's, it's finding finding your place on the internet. Um, before installing WP Rocket, it took two and a half seconds just to really get the server working and starting to do its job. That's unacceptable. Uh, you know, this is running Bluehost, but the point of this video is to show you that even if your host is taking a little bit long, you know, I've, I've never actually seen it work that slowly. Um, but even if you have that, there's a very easy tool that you can implement to take that away at a fraction of the cost of a more expensive host. So here you see with um, the staging environment took 274 milliseconds to get the same thing going. That's the power of caching. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. As we scroll down, the rest of these are looking pretty similar, you know, uh, getting certain uh, requests, 369 uh, sec milliseconds, 143 milliseconds. So those are all cut about in half. As we scroll down, we want to look for one more big guy. It's coming up really quickly here. Here he is. So this is another one that is just a, a necessary evil when you're running WooCommerce. It is called the refreshed fragments. And long story short is basically letting it is updating your website on what is in your shopping cart when you're uh, loading up your shopping cart. And here you can see refresh fragments. We've also cut this down from 1.8 seconds down to one second, just using this one plugin with automatic settings. So very, very happy. 
So lastly, let's just take a look at some of the, you know, the high level uh, graphs here. So we can see our page speed scores are better. Our Y slow scores are better. The fully loaded times is incredibly better, much, much better. The page size is similar and you know, negligible and re request counts, I would say is negligible as well. So why do I show this to you? Why do I go into this detail around page speed scores? It's because on this channel, I show you tools to help you improve your website and make it better. But oftentimes, if you add the wrong tools onto your website, it can actually go in the reverse direction. It can go slower. Things can work not quite well. It's one of the reasons why I'm going through and doing some tuning here in a staging environment, just to fix a few things that I noticed were not quite working the way that I wanted them to. I'm not currently an affiliate for WP Rocket. I probably should sign up for them because I do love them. Uh, but I just want to show you that even if you have a web host that's running on a shared hosting, which mine's currently on a shared hosting uh, web host, even paying very little money, using simple plugins like WP Rocket, using default settings, you can automatically increase the speed more than twice the speed of what your existing website is. That's it for me today, guys. A really quick video. I hope this is helpful. If you like it, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, the like button, and check out incomesh.com to get more tips like this every day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.